Okay everyone, what I wanted to do today was go over the contents of my iTunes library. I am not going to do my music collection because it's way too large, but what I will do today is my movies and TV shows, and I'll tell you, I'll go through them individually and tell you a little bit about each one without giving you a spoiler. Um, just kind of the premise and uh, whether I like it or not. Some of these movies I did buy because uh, they're cheaper than renting it on iTunes and um, I do buy, I don't buy DVDs or Blu-rays anymore because I do like to be able to stream all my content from this Mac, this is kind of the hub of my entertainment center, to my uh, HDTV and other computers um, including uh, my iPad phone and my iPod. So I know a lot of people go over what's in their um, on their iPads, their apps, and what's in their dock on their Mac. So I haven't seen someone do a video on what is in their iTunes library. So I thought I would do that and I'll try to go as quick as possible. So we'll start up here. The first movie you see here is an Adam Sandler film called Eight Crazy Nights. It's a comedy. It's a cartoon comedy. And this movie is kind of a Hanukkah Christmassy funny character. Adam Sandler's voice plays the character of Davy, um, who's the main character in this, who has a few issues in his town, and I'm not going to go over that. It's called Eight Crazy Nights. Um, um, well, I won't tell you, but you'll know why. Um, okay, so the next one is The Adventures of Robin Hood. This is a classic one. It's the old school Robin Hood. Really quite good. I would highly recommend it. Um, you can sometimes catch it on Turner Classic Movies as well for free if you don't want to buy it. I don't think it's that much though. Okay, I'm a huge fan. I'm going to do both of these in one. I have the new American Reunion and the American Wedding. Since I was a young guy, I've always loved the American Pie movies. I don't know if for some reason I could relate to them. Although I never did anything with a pie. But uh, yeah, so I like the American... Reunion and American Pie series, so I have both of those two. My favorite are the first two though, so and I have those on uh, VHS actually, so uh, I don't have those uploaded yet. Next one is a British comedy called Are You Being Served, which is um, based on a TV show by BBC, which is called Are You Being Served. This is just a 95 minute film that they do. They uh, go on vacation on this one. Um, uh, it's kind of low budget, not as good as the show, but uh, you know, I've got quite a unique mix of movies here, I'll tell you that. Next one is the Beach Rhymes in Life, uh, Tribe Called Quest um, uh, documentary film. This is quite good. I'm a huge Tribe fan, which is hip-hop, for those of you who don't know. The reason there's two is one's extra features and one's the actual feature film. Uh, going to the next level, I have Big Fish, which is a great movie. Love that movie. Next to that, I have the Buena Vista Social Club. Now, this is a reunion musical and uh, not musical documentary sorry where they play a lot of music and uh, go back in the history of Havana and uh, the Buena Vista Social Club. Uh, the next one here, sorry let me do this, is uh, Chisholm which is a John Wayne Western. I'm a huge fan of Western. I will say they are my favorite genre of movie. Chisholm was I think underrated. It's one of my favorite uh, John Wayne ones. The scenery is gorgeous. John Wayne plays a great character called Chisholm, which is pretty good. So I would highly recommend that if you like westerns. Next one's a classic, which is a Christmas story based on the kid who wants nothing more than a BB gun for Christmas, essentially. I don't want to give you guys away too much of what these are, so you can watch them yourself. Uh, the next one is Collapse. This is a documentary about the collapse of the financial system. Um, as well as oil and other, you know, he goes over everything that could possibly happen, kind of like a doomsday scenario type thing. Next one is Coraline. Now, I didn't actually buy this. This one I actually downloaded. I had a free, um, free download from a DVD. So you put in the code once you buy the actual, it was from the Blu-ray, and I was able to download this one. Next one is a great martial arts film, Crouching, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Really quite good. Um, it's kind of more fantasy martial arts uh, rather than traditional Bruce Lee or, or Jackie Chan type of martial arts. Um, okay, going over here, classic rock movie, Detroit Rock City. It's a beautiful, beautiful film. Great classic one. Next one, this one's okay. It's it's got uh, Steve Carell and Paul Rudd. It's the uh, dinner for schmucks. And uh, Steve Carell plays a schmuck, and Paul Rudd's kind of this business guy trying to impress this boss and move up in the world. It's kind of co comedy. I kind of like Steve Carell movies. They're fun. 
Next one is El Dorado, which would be my all-time favorite Western. I absolutely love this, this movie. It's so good, so well done. Again, it's a John Wayne film. Big fan of John Wayne. If you like Westerns, this is a must. El Dorado, the action in this is amazing. Next one I got there is the Will Ferrell Elf. Awesome, awesome movie. Funny, good Christmas time movie. One of my favorite ones that Disney Pixar did, if not the favorite, is Finding Nemo. Love that movie. I used to actually own a coral reef tank, so it brings back uh, memories watching those little clownfish swimming around. Um, another good western which I really like is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, this one is, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's very long. Um, it's I, I don't think it's as good as El Dorado, but it's very good. Good scenes, good high suspense. Um, next one is The Hangover, the first one, which is just kind of funny, funny stupid, but, you know, it's not bad. Good one to have on a rainy day. Uh, let me go over here, move it up. I have here another Western High Plains Drifter, another, jo uh, another uh, not John Wayne, um, oh, always, I'm forgetting his name right now, but um, it's quite good, really good movie. Uh, next one is a John Wayne, though, it's Hondo, it's about him and his dog, they kind of settle in, meet this woman, they fight with uh, First Nations groups and some actually become friends with them first and then fight. Next one is How the West Was Won, which does have John Wayne in it. It's kind of a collaboration of the settlement of coming to the West. Beautiful scenery, good story. This next one here is probably is the craziest movie I have ever seen in my life. I would not recommend that for kids or for even adults. It's very disturbing. The reason I have this is a colleague of a past colleague of mine at my work um, recommend this, and it is absolutely crazy. And it was actually cheaper to buy than rent, so I just I just and I couldn't find it anywhere else. I'm surprised they have this. This is absolutely nuts revenge movie. This girl comes back and gets revenge um, with these guys who, um, yeah. I, I won't tell you too much. I like really at your own risk. I'm not gonna recommend that one. That's crazy. Next one is great movie Inglorious Bastards with um, Brad Pitt. Really good movie. Nazi Germany based. Um, kind of you know they kind of put a unique twist on it. Next one. This one is unique. It's a documentary called Jesus Camp talking about the fun fundamental uh, fundamentalism in the United States and Christianity and um, yeah. I'm not going to say much more about that. You should check it out if you like that type of documentary. This one's a funny Adam Sandler movie. Just go with it. It's got Jennifer Aniston in it where he pretends to have a fake wife, and um, which is Jennifer Aniston. They actually really work together. It's kind of funny. The next one is about credit card debt. It's a documentary game about um, people going into debt and credit card companies. Um, it's actually kind of sad. There's a couple university students who end up committing suicide over debt because universities give debt uh, credit cards to everyone and they don't know how to use them before they know about financial management and the value of a dollar. Um, that's one thing that's interesting is that our we have a lack of financial education throughout most of North America and that that's kind of what that movie hits on. Next one is Me, Myself, and Irene, which is a funny Jim Carrey movie. Um, he's got a split personality and has to take drugs to calm it down and if he doesn't take drugs then his alter ego Hank comes out. It's kind of interesting. Next one's Monsters Inc. Good movie. Um, not one of my favorite Disney Pixar's. I've only watched it a couple times. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Really good for high def, for sure. I'm gonna do the next two at once which is the Monty Python, The Holy Grail and Life of Brian. Both of them very, very good. Monty Python's huge fan of Monty Python. Good British humor. I got British background, so I gotta, gotta have some British comedy in there. Van Wilder. Loved that as a teen when I watched it more recently. It wasn't as funny and clever as I remember, but it's still, you know, it's a good light one. Nightmare Before Christmas is a great one. Um, and uh, it was, again, one of those free downloads from having a bought the Blu-ray. They gave me a free download for that. Next one, hilarious classic, Office Space, gotta love it, and then the extra features there. Again, with the same comedy theme, I got The Old School, which is really, really good. Great movie. Then I got The Disney's Parent Trap. This is not the original one. This is the 
um, new one with Lindsay Lohan. It's not very good, to be honest. 